it is 4.4.4 and there's not much light in here again. My eyes are glowing as usual. I don't know, I woke up, it was like 3.30 or some shit like that. This bait from the room is still decided to just stock a lot now, since yesterday. She had not been doing that before, but you know what I mean, like whatever, I don't notice the difference. Mm. Point of being here is just that <coughs> I feel everything as it happens, right? So those diamonds and diamonds lawyers. Um it they've been ripping me off like crazy. Like the the Claim was supposed to be done in October last year. October this year, still coming up. And that's when they're going to have a Zoom meeting to which they didn't even give me the link to. They said they'll give the link to me when it's closer. And to as reassess my injuries from afar in a Zoom meeting, and they gave me a call to prepare me for said Zoom meeting. And it was about <coughs> rating my pain level from 0 to 10. They won't even look at my injuries. They won't even take a look at my fucking leg. You know? So, like... <sighs> I'm changing my mind a lot about a lot of things all the time. <coughs> and I know it. <coughs> but <coughs> <coughs> I'm feeling nowadays things that I'm not used to feeling, which is regret. Pure, deep, fastening, crawling up into your skin. Regret over every effort that I put to get humans to stop fighting me and work together towards a common goal, which is save the planet. <laughs> but I will not save the planet on my own and allow you to stick together. <clears throat> to stick around, I drooled because I'm an animal. I am not going to clean up the fucking planet and then make space for you after because that's what you want you want me to get rid of the problems and then leave so you can continue to destroy it and then i come back i clean up again i'm the maid i'm not gonna do that i'm also not leaving that has already been decided if i wanted to leave i would have left already <coughs> the little little thing took all my things <coughs> Doesn't have to <coughs> Watches my channel Knows that I was going through some shit <coughs> Doesn't have the money to get my shit He wanted to assume and admit that I probably did Since I wasn't paying rent And then he kept all my shit Whatever reason I had To not pick it up You should have given it to me when I asked that's what I would have done. Even if it was somebody that I was having problems with, I wouldn't keep their shit. Unless they were a total piece of shit like you. You know what I mean? When you are a total piece of shit just like you, you have that kind of mentality on which I don't care. I only follow the law and whatever rule there is because to you, I'm just small potatoes. I'm not going to do anything, right? If I was really just a normal person. The only thing that you would answer well to is money. Which I wasn't willing to give you any. So now those lawyers are going to be ripping me off. They'll give me 10000 Or something like that. Something ridiculous. For a, an exposed fracture, something that changes their life completely. They're going to give me a month salary of whatever the fuck it is that I was supposed to be doing. And they also didn't want to continue to give me the disability payments. They stopped the payments. 
The guy won't even answer my calls or call me back anymore. The searchers guy. So that's why I made that decision. You know what? I all I really want to do now is remove all those heavy oil and gas people from power in a in an assassination type of deal. The Rockefellers, the central bank, presidents of countries that are way too authoritarian and not listening to what we have to say and what our plans are. I want them all to be assassinated and gone. All the people who are running the country, you know, the FBI agents for, you know, the secret agents, all those people who are running the show in a very ruthless, I don't accept change, we gotta continue things the way it's always been, and ripping me off blindly. I want them all dead. Like, in a ditch somewhere, no, dead and gone. I want no trace. I want nobody to know what the fuck happened to them. Alien style. I want it to be very alien style. Maybe even let the fucking spaceship be seen when you're taking these people. Because if they're going to be waging war and they make it clear on the news or whatever that they believe that we are a threat and since I already admittedly said that I'm an alien and I'm here and whatever and there are others I wanted to make sure that they understand that it was a threat but it was a friendly threat now it's no longer friendly we're gonna go there and take you without any warnings because you don't appreciate anything and my idea of being a fucking designer <coughs> it's a lie. I lied. <coughs> yes, I love fucking designing. But no, I will not sell my fucking body with jewelry for $20, $40 like I was selling when I actually had no mind of my own and didn't know what the fuck I was doing. And nowadays, these people figure, holy shit, that could be worth a lot more. Or later on, if she actually, like, invested in If I actually did the whole website thing like I was doing and tried to clean up my name and make everything more fun and about culture, diversity, gender bending, all that shit. I, I was all in. I was going crazy over that. I wanted to make a design. I was constantly wearing some cool shit. I wanted to make publicity about it. I wanted other people to set, to buy it. I wanted the other me's especially to be buying it. But now, what I really want to do is just get a rich him to come get me. Just the way that we were thinking about later. I'm just... I haven't decided how exactly, even if I have to give specifics, I'm not sure how either. Because it would be a shock, that's the thing, because it's famous. I'm famous somewhere else too, it's just that it would be a shock, you'll be from being incognito to holy shit, everybody knows me officially overnight. <coughs> so, <coughs> I was waiting for certain things to happen first. I was supposed to wait two, three months. It's been one. I don't know what I'm gonna be feeling like up until it's over. What I'm actually really waiting for was for my money from the searches. I didn't want to be officially rich and famous and then they wanna make up to me. You know what I mean? They make it up to me and be like, here is a million. What, because I'm already rich? No, I wanted you to offer the, the, the amount that you're supposed to offer before I am obviously rich and famous and can come after you the way that you recognize and understand and respect, which is with lawyers that are better than yours, right? Destroy your company and just watch you after from afar. I don't know, with a car that is tinted, you know, parked across the street from your house. That's the kind of fucking response you understand. That's what I'm going to be going for. We're going to have an SUV parked across the street from your house. That's the Asian guy that has been talking to me. I told him, I know you have a house in Sudan. I don't know why you're wait making me wait so fucking much. And then he just has the nerve to tell me that he doesn't. It is unbelievable the way that I speak to him. You are kidding me. You give me a month just to book an appointment and telling me that you have to wait until the other person finds a date that she has free. And so do you. So they can book it. I'm just like, and that takes a month.
the way that I'm treated is ridiculous. Bear. Like, it's ridiculous. It makes me feel like everything I've ever done to get anything productive done within this community, these people, is for nothing. It's all for nothing. I want to destroy everything. I want to break everything. I want to come out of a baseball bat and destroy as many cars as possible. So instead, I'm going to calm my nerves and I'll be organized about it. Let's, let's do what you do. It's organized crime. I am not going to just simply pick up a baseball bat and start breaking cars all over. That will get me, you know, in, not in jail, in a mental hospital for two days. It's annoying enough. I don't want to go through that. I don't want to do that. I'd rather assassinate your people. In a discreet way on which you cannot connect to me. Since I'm broke and I cannot pay those people, I can only give them sex. That's what you can do. You can just call me a whore and tell everybody that that's what I'm doing. <coughs> but I will get them. I want them dead. That Valerium guy, I hope he's already dead because if he's not, I want him dead now. Him, his wife, his parents, everybody. And I want them to lose the house. I want him to go back to foreclosure. Whoever is left in the family, they don't get the house. Foreclosure. And when once the government puts their hands on my shit, I want them to give it to me later. And if that doesn't happen, I guess I'm going to have to be switching people around in the government. Whoever goes in there, they're going to get assassinated, disappear. You know what I mean? That kind of shit. I want that kind of shit happening. Secret service style. You know what I mean? May I, may I be. MIB. Tell them they should be talking more. Against their own policies. Because they're shitty. I don't want to be a designer. They're going to sabotage everything I do. Are you kidding me? That they're going to actually support the name Satan? Ever. After all this, after everything that they did to me, when I was actually trying to make things better. There is no way in hell that anybody will support this. Nobody. Except for other me's and him. <coughs> Nobody else will. Because the only language they speak is the many language. If you don't show capital, they don't take you seriously. So think since I decided to do this this way, maybe that's all I want. I want an honest interaction. This is I'm not gonna get it. I don't feel like doing it. So when I finally get to a point where I can just relax and design because I want to, I'll give it away for free to people who deserve it. <laughs> 